Good morning and welcome to our service of Holy Communion for today. This is one of two services that will be available on both St Peter's and St Oswald's Facebook pages and websites. Uh, there's also a more informal service at Catholic Church if you'd like to join in with that. But this is a more traditional service of Holy Communion in which we'll be using the set readings for today and also rem remembering Jesus' death and resurrection for us in Holy Communion. We're beginning to draw towards the end of the season of Easter. This coming Thursday is Ascension Day, 40 days after the resurrection. And then, of course, the season uh, finishes 10 days after that with Pentecost. But we still have our Easter candle, our Paschal candle, lit for the rest of the Easter season. And in a moment, as we begin, I'll be inviting you to join in with the Easter response. So when I say, Alleluia, Christ is risen, if you would like to respond by saying, He is risen indeed, Alleluia, then please do so. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is, he is risen, risen indeed. Alleluia. Alleluia. And so as we prepare to come to worship God this morning, I'm going to say a prayer, the words of which you may like to echo in your hearts. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, the first commandment is this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is the only Lord. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this. Love your neighbour as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Amen. Amen. Lord, have Amen. mercy. Christ, our Passover lamb, has been sacrificed for us. Let us therefore rejoice by putting away all malice and evil and confessing our sins with a sincere and true heart. During this season of Easter, we're using a special Easter confession and when I say in your mercy forgive us if you would like to respond by saying Lord hear us and help us then please do so. In your mercy forgive us Lord hear us and help us. Jesus Christ risen master and triumphant Lord we come to you in sorrow for our sins and confess to you our weakness and unbelief. We have lived by our own strength and not by the power of your resurrection. In your mercy forgive us. Lord, hear us and help us. We have lived by the light of our own eyes as faithless and not believing. In your mercy, forgive us. Lord, hear us and help us. We have lived for this world alone and doubted our home in heaven. In your mercy, forgive us. Lord, hear us and help us. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And as a forgiven people through Jesus' death and resurrection for us, I'm going to say a hymn of praise, the Gloria. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. 
Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And the Collect for today, the sixth Sunday of Easter, let us pray. God, our Redeemer, you have delivered us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your Son. Grant that as by his death he has recalled us to life, so by his continual presence in us he may rise us he may raise us to eternal joy through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. During the season of Easter, our first readings come from the book of Acts and uh, today it is from Acts chapter 17 and it is Paul uh, speaking in front of the city council in Athens. Paul stood up in front of the city council and said, I see that in every way you Athenians are very religious. For as I walked through your city and looked at the places where you worship, I found an altar on which is written, to an unknown God. That which you worship then, even though you do not know it, is what I now proclaim to you. God, who made the world and everything in it, is Lord of heaven and earth, and does not live in man-made temples. Nor does he need anything that we can supply by working for him, since it is he himself who gives life and breath and everything else to everyone. From one man he created all races of mankind and made them live throughout the whole earth. He himself fixed beforehand the exact times and the limits of the places where they would live. He did this so that they would look for him and perhaps find him as they felt about for him. Yet God is actually not very far from any of us, as someone has said. In him we live and move and exist. It is as some of your poets have said, we too are his children. Since we are God's children, we should not suppose that his nature is anything like an image of gold or silver or stone, shaped by the art and skill of man. God has overlooked the times when people did not know him. But now he commands all of them everywhere to turn away from their evil ways. For he has fixed a day in which he will judge the whole world with justice by means of a man he has chosen. He has given proof of this to everyone by raising that man from death. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Gospel reading is a continuation of part of Jesus' teaching to his disciples on that original Maundy Thursday and comes from John chapter 14, verses 15 to 21. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, If you love me, you will obey my commandments. I will ask the Father, and he will give you another helper, who will stay with you forever. 
He is the spirit who reveals the truth about God. The world cannot receive him because it cannot see him or know him. But you know him because he remains with you and is in you. When I go, you will not be left all alone. I will come back to you. In a little while, the world will see me no more, but you will see me. And because I live, you also will live. When that day comes, you will know that I am in my Father and that you are in me, just as I am in you. Whoever accepts my commandments and obeys them is the one who loves me. My Father will love whoever loves me. I too will love him and reveal myself to him. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. We're going to respond to God's word by proclaiming our faith in God the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, as Jesus promised his disciples that they were about to receive him in his spirit by saying the creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. So let us pray for the church and for the world, and let us thank God for his goodness. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you have promised to be with us forever. Teach us to rejoice in your presence. Free us from all anxiety. Help us to know you are always at hand, that we may work with you and to your glory, Jesus our Lord, who with the Father and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns for ever. Amen. In our prayers today, when I say, Lord, you abide in us, if you would like to respond by saying, may we know we abide in you, then please do so. Lord, you abide in us. May we know we abide in you. Lord, in you we live and move and have our being. For we are your children, and you are not far from any one of us. 
We pray for Christians who are struggling in lonely or difficult places, for all who feel forsaken, for all who are longing to know your love. We pray for all who seek to do your will and fulfil your commandments. Lord, you abide in us. May we know we abide in you. We pray for countries where laws are being flouted. We pray for nations and peoples who are in danger of destroying themselves or others. We remember areas of civil strife, areas where people are misused or abused. We pray for all who seek to live in simplicity, gentleness and reverence for all who suffer for doing good. Lord, you abide in us. May we know we abide in you. By your indwelling presence, make our hearts and our homes places of peace. We pray for peace in our communities for peace in our relationships, that your peace may spread throughout our world. Lord, you abide in us. May we know we abide in you. We pray for all who are captives to superstition or ignorance. For all who have no knowledge of God. For all whose lives are empty or filled with wrong things. We remember before you all whose lives are falling apart. All who are entering into darkness or sickness. That each in their weakness may know your strength. Lord, you abide in us. May we know we abide in you. Lord, if we abide in you and you are in us, we are already in the fullness of that life which is eternal. We rejoice in your presence and pray for loved ones and friends who have gone before us. Lord, you abide in us. May we know we abide in you. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, always and everywhere to give you thanks, almighty and eternal Father. And in these days of Easter, to celebrate with joyful hearts the memory of your wonderful works, for by the mystery of his passion, Jesus Christ, your risen Son, has conquered the powers of death and hell and restored in men and women the image of your glory. He has placed them once more in paradise and opened to them the gates of life eternal. And so, in the joy of this Passover, earth and heaven resound with gladness while angels and archangels and the powers of all creation sing forever the hymn of your glory. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, 
through your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, and as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood. Who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood, the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember his offering of himself made once for all upon the cross. We proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. We look for the coming of your kingdom. And with this bread and this cup, we make the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Lord. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Accept through him, our great high priest, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty, renew us by your spirit. Inspire us with your love and unite us in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing and honour and glory and power be yours for ever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread. Alleluia. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia. God our Father, whose Son Jesus Christ gives the water of eternal life, may we thirst for you, the spring of life and source of goodness, through him who is alive and reigns now and for ever. Amen. Praise the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. He has given us new life and hope. He has raised Jesus from the dead. God has claimed us as his own. He has brought us out of darkness. He has made us light to the world. Alleluia. Christ is risen. 
He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me, even though they die, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. God the Father, by whose love Christ was raised from the dead, open to you who believe the gates of everlasting life. God the Son, who in bursting from the grave has won a glorious victory, give you joy as you share the Easter faith. God the Holy Spirit, who has filled the disciples with the life of the risen Lord, empower you and fill you with Christ's peace and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. With the power that Jesus raised, that raised Jesus from the dead at work within you, go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.